Um, hey, welcome back. Just a quick um, thought, and it's from Proverbs 2. Um, Proverbs 2, about finding the knowledge of God and the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord leads to life. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord keeps us in the, the path of life, um, and so on. So uh, Proverbs 2, verses 1 to 5, you know, this is what it, it says. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Lord. So we see that, um, uh, just one second, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Um, so we see that that all this thing hinges, all these things hinges on one thing, which is the Lord saying that um, you know um, the instruction is that if you receive the words of God and treasure His commandments, right? So not just about receiving, but the nature and with a way in which we receive and what we do you know it's like treasuring the commands and um, which means you treasure value it so highly and treasure it in your heart with the intent to apply okay with an intent to put it to practice with an intent to either obey or do what it says right so it says that if you pursue if you seek her as silver and search for her and says the whole thing comes to verse five. You will understand, and you will find. Okay, so but this is something that is uh, required of us that we be intentional, that our hearts posture is this, that we will receive, that we will treasure, that with an intent to apply and incline our ear to wisdom. Right. So let's um, let's have that within us, even as we, um, you know, we have access to God's word. We have access to the resources. We have the Spirit of God indwelling us. So um, what is it that's stopping us? What is it that's hindering? Nothing, really. Um, so we don't have to be our own hindrance. Right? We don't have to be our own barrier. Uh, we don't have to be our own ceiling uh, to all these things. Right? Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. and Lord, in the fear of the Lord, there is the path of life, God, the ways, O oh God, which lead to life, God. We thank you, Master, that you have given made this accessible to us, Lord, possible for us to walk in, Lord. And um, we thank you that this should be, God, for this exhortation, exhortation, Lord, that this should be the posture of our heart, that we will value, that we will treasure with an intent to incline our hearts and to apply, Lord, everything, O oh God, in our lives, Master your word, your instructions, for they are life, God. Yes, they are spirit and they are life. And Master, we pray that uh, may we, God, continue to, let it not be a one-time thing, let it be a daily thing, Father God, that we would incline our ears to your wisdom, that we would treasure your word in our hearts, that we would apply your instruction uh, in all areas of our life, Lord. And um, yes, Master, we know that Sometimes, sometimes we don't see the manifestation of the fruit of it immediately, but we know that we are sowing to righteousness. We are sowing to the Spirit when we do that. And of the Spirit, we will reap eternal life. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We give you all the praise, all the glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Hey, just a quick um, yeah, clarification. I, I think... Uh, yeah, I think Georgia Zelitoli and even uh, someone else also asked, you know, that they, they couldn't see them, that they didn't receive the the marks, right? After the submission uh, of the uh, quiz, when you submitted the quiz, but the marks were not released. Um, I, I don't know what it is about the setting, but I'm just trying to, you know, because the setting says the marks will be released immediately on submission. So I don't know what it is, but the, your marks are recorded. Okay, so. Um, so that's for sure. So you, you don't have to worry about it. So once 
um, you know, the marks are recorded. So, um, so that's the thing. So I'll just release that, you know, for the entire class. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let's um, let me just share this. Okay. Yeah. So we've come to the the final chapter, which is continuous learning. Okay. So um, you know, traditionally, when we look at um, learning, um, we talk about formal education. We talk about schooling. You know, and and every typically every every nation or you know every. Every place has this system of learning. Okay, so there is this uh, early education, then middle school, and you know higher uh, learning. Then you move into college and so on, and and we call it like a you know formal education. And and many times you know uh, the mindset can be even you know even as we go through school and college, oh, you finish it and we are done with you know. I, I thank God that I finished all this. Thank God I finished those exams. No more learning. No more exams, etc. And and we come to that place where we're saying I don't have to learn anymore. What we actually mean is that I don't have to sit for exams. I don't have to you know sit for classes. Uh, I'm done with that phase of life. Okay, but the thing is, the reality is something else. Okay, that in an informal manner, in various settings or avenues, we are continuous learners, or we need to be continuous learners, whether it's knowledge. Whether it's practical skill, right? Uh, it happens. It happens all the time. Like I remember the first time I, I joined this first place of work. Um, it was with a hospitality company, and I was in sales. And well, the learning was immense. The learning was using the phone, for example. You know, transferring calls when the phone lines come, when the calls come in. Uh, the learning was about learning how to you send a fax. Um, you know, I think we don't have those anymore. But you know, we just scan it and email stuff. But then sending, learning to send a fax using the fax machine, and things like that. You know, which was everyday learning, right? Um, and uh, and also it was an unlearning of certain things, right? So learning happens on work. Learning happens every day. But it is whether we want to learn or not. Whether we want to have these skills or not. Okay, because if if we have that understanding or the mindset that I'm done with learning, then we will be very indifferent to a learning experience. We will not have a learning or a growth mindset, right? So, which is very detrimental. So, we will, which means that we are not open. We are not. We look at it as a something that is. Oppressive. We look at it something something that's boring, something that we have done away with, uh, and therefore we are not open to learning. Okay. And the thing is this: that continuous learning, it can really enhance our understanding of how things work, understanding of the world, understanding of the environment, work environment, systems, um, and not only that, but Constantly, you know, when we move from, uh, when we learn, when we, you know, it, it is opening up opportunities for us, opening up opportunities, or we we place ourselves in a way, in a place where there are opportunities for us to use that learning, right? Which means it could be an opportunity in terms of a work, a job, uh, where we can use this learning, right? Where we say, okay, I need people. We see, you know, we we see maybe. Uh, advertisements or companies saying that we need people with this skill. We need people with this with this skill set, with this with this uh, you know with the certification and things like that. So you know, it really improves. So when we take this up, uh, take up all these opportunities, then it improves our quality of life and so on. So um, if you want to categorize it broadly, it's for our personal development and for our professional development, right? And both are intertwined. In the sense when we develop ourselves personally, it influences or affects our profession side of things, right? Work or ministry. And if we, you know, develop ourselves, um, you know, professionally or the ministry aspect of it, well, it is interconnected, and uh, it actually develops us personally as well. 
right? So it enables our personal growth, right? So we we see that. So uh, some some of uh, uh, some um, let's say overflow of continuous learning or learning itself is that it it boosts our confidence, right? Confidence because we understand things. It's not a, it's not something that we're ignorant of. You know, when we're ignorant of something, we don't we don't want to use, right? Maybe new technology, maybe new things. We we uh, you know we we are ignorant of it, and so we we don't know. You know, we don't have the confidence to use these things, right? Um, uh, I remember first time email was there. You know, uh, those those years uh, where we had email. What do you call internet? You know kiosks or internet parlors as they're called and uh, like for me it was like you know it's something new i didn't want to i didn't know i didn't know what to do and and then finally you know mustered up enough courage and went and then created an email id and, and all that right <laughs> so uh, look back it seems like you know so foolish so funny at times but then the thing is that is what it is you know if you don't know or if there's no learning or understanding about some concept, a technology, how to use, then we are very hesitant, right? We're fearful of it. But then knowing it boosts our confidence, our self-esteem, and everything. Okay. It makes us less risk averse, adaptable to change, right? So we don't uh, we it's a it's a um, what do you call learned decision, right? Knowledgeable decision. And so the the uh, the, we are, you know, we don't, we're not prone to risk, right? So we avoid the mistakes, and also when it comes to change, we are more adaptable to change and the way things are done. Maybe you know, if things are done online, we are more adaptable to it. Okay, this is how it is done. There's no pen and paper. Fine, no problem. We'll use it. You know, forms need to be filled, payments need to be made, and you know there are severe I mean, several options but these are easier ones quicker options and you're you adapt to it right? because you've learned you adapt to change right okay and um, the most satisfying personal life um, yes uh, challenges are ideas and beliefs about something it can be fun as well okay right okay so um, when we're learning for personal development okay so there need not be a specific reason for learning. Okay, if you want to learn something for the sake of learning, you know, maybe you just say, okay, I want, I don't know this, therefore I want to learn. Okay, it could be a language, it could be any area of your life, you know, any area of uh, you know that you want to grow in, develop in. Um, so there need not be a certain uh, certain need or you know formal need, but then you're saying, okay, this is the mindset that I have. There's something new. I don't know about it, and let me learn. Okay, uh, it could be a it, it could be new th new thing. You know, like uh, maybe a painting, maybe a whatever. You know, it could be something creative, maybe a, a uh, you know a, a musical um, a instrument, right? Whatever. So when we have that shift in thinking, it helps us, right? Uh, and people say that uh, well, medical. Faculty certainly says that it keeps our brain very young, you know, brain active, uh, because you're learning new things, and it actually changes the, you know, the the neural pathway in our brains, and and just uh, so it doesn't get bored, it can be, you know, fulfilling. You, your, your thinking is even sharper, your memory is there, and so on. So, yeah, so it helps in all these ways. Okay, so why do people learn for personal development? Increase our knowledge, skill, hobby pastime you know so it makes life a little more fuller uh, uh, and maybe some s new skill um, well it helps us it is to our advantage maybe you learn to change the tire in a car and maybe you learn to you know fix certain things around the house um, all this you know it, it's it just helps you it um, helps achieve certain things right at maybe a lower cost right every time you want to change a bulb if you're going to call an electrician right, to come in, it's, it's, a, it's an added cost, right? But then you, 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 you know how to do it and you, you, know, you learn how to do it, you learn the skills and, and you acquire the tools to do it. And it's, uh, you know, you, there's a cutting down of cost and, and, and so on, right? Okay. Okay. So learning for professional development. Okay. So that's, that's another whole area 
which means that you look at your profession, you look at, you know, when you say pro profession, we're including the uh, ministry area also. So whatever that's going to actually enhance the work to be effective at work, at getting the job done, right? Um, maybe in ministry, how do I use certain tools that are available online, right? How do I use, how do I learn to use the, uh, an Excel sheet? How do I learn to use a PowerPoint? Right? How do I, you know, these are things that we can, we can actually um, do intentionally. So there's actually professional development. It helps us uh, in the work that we do. You know, how can I be a better communicator? How can I be a better speaker? Um, you know, all these things, right? Uh, maybe we want to learn counseling skills. You know, you find yourself in your work um, with those kind of situations and challenges, right? So how can I pick up those skills? Are there anything, uh, you know, uh, is there anything online? Is there a course online that I can do to, to do that? So, so we need to invest in that, right? Invest in that, invest time in it, invest some resources in it, and it brings us rewards, okay? So some of these um, things or uh, professional learnings, the organization will actually provide that opportunity, right? Maybe you're part of a part of an organization which which says, okay, uh, you have you can do this on company time, or you can do it on the time that the organization uh, gives you, right? So saying that, okay, in this financial or in this calendar year, you can spend so many hours on learning something for your uh, professional development. Yeah. Yes, Paul, you have a question. Do you have a question or was that a mistake? I see your hand raised. Um, okay, you can go ahead and put it on the chat. I can't, um, I can't hear you. You can. Uh, no, it's just accidental. I don't have any question. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Right, Paul, no problem, no problem at all. Okay, so yeah, where were we? We were looking at, okay, that, um, right? Uh, so we, yeah, so the, some org organizations do invest, like in this way saying, that uh, it could be a formal training or it could be, you know, you take time as a employee or as a person in this organization, you take time, you do it. So if we make use of it, it's going to enhance our skills. Now, when we enhance our skills, it means that it betters our, uh, or it gets us to be better, uh, uh, be more productive, being effective, maybe in solving problems, in getting the work done in maybe less time than before, like even better productivity, right? Um, so uh, just, I, I just want to, you know, uh, state that it's uh, including ministry as well, ministry work. Right. So ministry work, we know that it's, it just doesn't stop with preaching, teaching. There's a whole lot of other things as well, administratively, what you look at, you know, in terms of finances and so on. So so for us to um, grow in these skills and knowledge, help us to be effective, right? Okay. Now, let's say, you know, you're an organization and you seem to have reached a place, um, a certain place, a certain ceiling, and you seem to be stuck in that place, right? And you're frustrated. You know, it's a routine thing over and over again, right? I'm just doing year after year, month after month. You know, it's the same thing over and over again. And the answer to that, to come out of that rust, rut is learning, you know, continuous learning, which can really enhance the same work that you do or it can actually expand our view of what else can I do? And how else can I better this? How else can I contribute uh, to the organization? Okay, so you, so you see the advantages of continuous learning, right? to have the mindset of continuous learning, or what is also called as the growth mindset. You know, I want to grow. Okay? I don't want to be in the same place. Um, I want to increase. Uh, in my learning, in my knowledge base, and in my skill, right? Okay. Um, okay, learning also gives us options, 
there are options options for betterment options for new areas options for new uh, avenues for us to explore and get into right so it gives us options okay and um, and I, I know i know of people who because of their you know wanting to learn or wanting to uh, improve their learning they actually got better opportunities um, you know maybe in different organizations got uh, better opportunities to serve in the same organizations right so it gives us options learning always gives us the options so it's it's one thing to keep in mind so that should destroy you know this old mindset of okay i've done with learning i don't want to learn anymore right so uh, we know that learning takes effort yeah it takes effort uh, it takes time it takes resources so this is an incentive for us to take that time to invest in resources and to put in that effort right so these are just incentives for us so we, where we know that okay i don't want to have that old mindset anymore yes uh, it is to learn new things and 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 how are you going to feel you know when it's a new area there will be some resistance in the sense oh i don't know this there any i need to put in that effort there has to be some some work mental work involved right so so just because it's difficult just because it's going to take some effort in order to learn don't give up right? let's not give up okay uh, a few things here that uh, it's never too late to start it's never too late to start to start something new it's never to learn it's too late to learn something new and i think the the internet from what i see around the internet is a great tool i see more and more people especially people who are you know elderly senior citizens uh, and their life is really enriched because they are learning learning with the use of technology they are learning they have access uh, to learning so many things they have access to communicate so many things right uh, so it's 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 a wonderful thing so it's never too late to start doing something uh, don't discount yourself because of you know your age right don't discount yourself because of the season of life that you are in okay um so yeah so we can we can do that um and also when it comes to um being successful in work um to being successful um in uh, with regard to our financial earning learning helps right maybe if you're in that kind of an environment learning helps okay um it is it involves stepping out of what is familiar it involves stepping out of what is comfortable for us um in order to learn new things right and it definitely clo uh, positions us uh, in a better uh, place financially okay also i think this is the last thing that we see that uh, there is constant change that is happening okay there is constant change that is happening and the need for adaptability to change okay? and the and the adapted adaptability to change comes with learning okay so and that learning uh, sometimes or most times would have to be outside of our formal what we can call as work hours or maybe ministry work hours whatever it's outside of that maybe because you know our work hours or 8 or 10 hours in a day maybe will require full attention that we cannot really set aside time fine so it's it's outside of those work hours maybe over a weekend maybe on a certain day of the week we can set aside so um so you know picking up these skills uh and picking up these um these learnings uh, would mean that we need to do that okay um so that that's a, that's what we have about uh, you know continuous learning to have that shift in minds mindset to have that growing uh, or what you call as a growth mindset which will really help us and it's it's also one of the life skills okay? maybe we didn't even think of it that way maybe we were resistant to learning new things right because it means changing it means being flexible it means stretching right so but with this when we when we look at it this way it makes life so much more enriching so much more enriching right so it is something for us to um adapt or include in our lives 
Okay. Okay. So with that, we come to the end of uh, our life skills course. Um, any questions or anything that you may want to share based on what you've learned, maybe specific to continuous learning? Sorry? Uh, Paul, I think he's, ri he's raising his hands because of, uh, I think it's a mistake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just yeah. check. <laughs> you have uh, I just want to thank for everything that you thought. And uh, I've learned so much uh, from this. And I have literally applied some things and seen, uh, especially about planning things. Uh, I remember the proximity things mm. uh, that you uh, thought on. I, I have it in my laptop. And I that kind of helps me to uh, organize, like to prior prioritize my books. Uh, what to neglect and what to go ahead with. That's that's kind of a big help and uh, yeah, I mm -hmm. just want to it here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good to hear that. Praise God. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Like so sometimes we, you know, some of these things come naturally to some people, but not all, right? So that's the thing. So it really stretches, expands our uh, understanding and the scope of what we do. So. Uh, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um, anyone else? Anything that you might want to share or um, any questions at all? No. Okay. Okay. So, um, so yeah, if you have any questions, you can always post it on the stream, right? Till the end of the course, till the end of um, you know the course. Yeah, the course finishes. So I was trying to answer that. Um, otherwise, we will have another quiz um, at the end of by the end of November, by the last week of November. And with that, we we uh, complete our assessment of the course, and also the course also formally ends with that, right? Okay. Um, same goes for e-learning students. There will be one more quiz. And of course, you have time till the end of uh, the course to answer that uh, as also the first quiz. Right? OK. OK, so thank you. Um, we'll stop here and hope to see you next semester also uh, in maybe some other course. Yeah. OK, God bless. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Pastor. Bye, John. See you. Bye bye. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Rosalind.